Hi, Michael Ryan here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about using CDNs, which are content delivery networks, as well as HT Access, in order to optimize websites for quick load times. We'll also continue in our development of our mock up site that was inspired by the Mercedes Benz website, which has a top nav bar as well as a hero carousel. Our design was made in Adobe Illustrator. And some of these colors I, I found from the car that I used the eyedrop and then I added into the layout. After adding in some of the changes that I needed for my website to look the way I wanted it to look like, I then viewed the site to make sure that I was uh, getting the correct look uh, through Safari. And so far so good, uh, changing some of the colors in my, my text. I have my hero image as well as a call to action button and some of my icons below. Uh, still a, a process, but definitely excited about it. Now let's talk about CDNs or content delivery networks. Content delivery networks are great to use. They, they help you to cache static images and static uh, objects so that your site loads quickly on, on many browsers as well as many uh, different desktops as well as laptops. I often use this tool called tools.pingdom.com in order to test uh, the speed of the websites that I work on. After it has gone through its test, you'll be able to not only see some of the files that are being used to load your page, but also the performance as well as a page analysis. As you can see, my current grade is 88 out of 100, and I am faster than 44% of all tested websites. Uh, which is fairly good. A lot of these things I have changed in my website. I have combined external CSS. Uh, again, like we said, I leverage browser caching through my uh, HT access. And I also paralyzed downloads across host names. Uh, in doing that, I did a.michaelryan.com, a b.michaelryan.com, as well as a c.michaelryan.com, where I separated my images out so that they could load uh, from different domains and paralyze in the in load time to decrease the load time. Now I'm going to show you some of the changes that I've done to my HT access so that images, JavaScript, and CSS are cached and also the time frame that I have them cached at. As you can see within my index HTML, I have my CSS within, within the head, and I have moved all of my JavaScript at the bottom of the page. Like we talked about in the last video, placing your JavaScript at the bottom allows your page to load more quickly because JavaScript will block other things from loading, and there's many times that your JavaScript does not need to load in order for your website to be viewed. Uh, let's say for instance you're, you have a JavaScript for a knob to spin. If you are preventing your page from loading because of this spinning JavaScript, you are causing more load time to your user that is unnecessary. And here in my HT access, and here in my HT access, I've placed in calls that will allow uh, caching of my GIFs, PNGs, JPEGs, as well as my CSS and JavaScript. Uh, my JPEGs and GIF I have over uh, access uh, over a month, and for my JavaScript and CSS, excuse me, just my JavaScript I have for a year because oftentimes I'm not changing my JavaScript, and this allows those things to be cached for those time periods. As you can see, uh, my grade on webpagetest.org 
is much higher um, because of uh, some of the things that they've taken into context, such as my CDNs uh, through Cloudflare, as well as some of the compressed images that I, I use. And as you can see, uh, my web page moves very smoothly and loads quite quickly uh, for the amount of large images that I use for backgrounds and and things of that nature. Uh, seven seconds, seven, six seconds for a low uh, time is pushing it, but it's right there and I, I believe that, that I'm right at the area that allows for uh, great load time as well as providing the correct amount of content that I want to provide for the message that I want to provide. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or leave a comment. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned and I'll keep on making more videos. Alrighty.